up here, just as we turn this corner, um, on your right hand side, you may be able to see, I'm not sure if they're out or right, right now or not, but we have the what to see cattle and what to see is what you get. Yeah. 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 That looks like they're inside number. right now, but they're super cool. They have horns that can reach up to six feet tip to tip. <laughs> now the horns look like they'd be super heavy on their head, but they're actually hollow. They have little blood vessels running through them to keep them cool on hot African days. When, when Africa isn't they're blessed by rain. They're also named after the Simpsons characters, so this includes Bart, Marge, Maggie, Milhouse, and Mo. <laughs> That's a good and coming up here, just as we turn this corner on your right hand side, you'll be able to see the remains of our old monorail system. The monorail was replaced uh, just over 20 years ago by the Zoomobile you're now riding. It was replaced uh, last time the one, the last time the Jays won the World Series, so I believe it was 1993. Ouch. Oh, well, that's right. They have and an MLB as team. we make our way over this small bridge, you'll get a super cool panoramic view of the tundra area. Now keep your eyes peeled. Sometimes we see polar bears as we make our way along here. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Sometimes you can even see the Arctic wolves too, depending on uh, where they are. You also see that big white pole. This is our tundra air ride. It's a two-person zip line that takes you all the way up to the top. Gives you a very cool view of some of our tundra animals like our polar bears. On a clear day, you can even see the CN Tower from up there. What's the CN Tower? No, it's 12. Now we do have a bit of an exciting event going on this summer. Uh, later in May, I believe it's May 2 4 long weekend, but we will be having washed ashore sculptures um, on site. There, uh, I believe there's 10 of them and they're made of plastic that has been pulled from waterways and oceans across, uh, like worldwide. Super cool and it just uh, raises awareness for um, the effect that we have on plastic. All right, now you may be able to see, I believe they're inside, but Luca and Zambuca are two jaguars. Now these guys are fantastic swimmers uh, and they catch a lot of their prey in the water. And we also have our caribou as long here. You can see them off in the distance on your right, uh, snoozing in the sun there. We are now making our way into the operations complex, which is a staff only area, except for you lucky Zoomobile riders. On your yeah. left hand side, you'll see this kind of green stuff. Uh, we are making a gray truck gray tree frog breeding uh, area habitat, um, which is super cool because gray tree frogs are the only tree frog native to Ontario. Alrighty guys, we will now be passing by the Animal Nutrition Center. So this is where all the food is prepared for every animal here at the zoo. Now did you know that the zoo's grocery bill is approximately a million dollars per year? But all the money made from parking goes directly towards paying this grocery bill. <laughs> <laughs> we'll also be passing by the animal or the wildlife health center, which is fairly new to the zoo. It just opened a couple years ago, but it gives people a chance to see behind the scenes of some of our state-of-the-art medical facilities and our animal hospital. Depending on what time you're in there, you can actually even see a medical procedure being done on one of our animals. Super cool. Lots of interactive stuff in there. This is our polar bear house over on your right hand side. You can see that mural. It was uh, painted by some school kids. A couple, I think it was last summer they put it up. Uh, it shows the uh, species that are affected by climate change. Well, you have a track. Alrighty, we will now be passing through our America station. <laughs> Alrighty, we're continuing on through here. You'll see our uh, health center and our greenhouse over on your left-hand side. I used to work in a greenhouse. Is it a greenhouse or a grow house? Greenhouse. At one point in time, the Toronto Zoo's collection of plants was actually yeah, way more well, expensive than I knew what you were trying to say, but animals, no, it's not so legal in my oh. state. Now coming up here, I, I live in the um, states. In the distance on your yeah, it's not legal yet. Right hand side, you may be able to catch a glimpse of one of our Przewalski horses, but don't worry if you don't get a good look. We'll be up close and personal with them soon. Ooh, horse. I saw a horse. 
Now, a fun fact about the Toronto Zoo is that we are open 364 days of the year. This is every day except for Christmas Day, and this is because for some weird reason, all of our reindeer disappear. <laughs> we are now making our way into the Eurasia section of the zoo. Now, this stretch here is exclusive to the zoo mobile, but we also have our Eurasia Wilds, which is home to our factory camels, our stellar sea eagles, and our Amir tigers, which we passed earlier. Now, coming up here on your right, you may be able to catch a glimpse of our two lion-tailed macaques. Their names are Vina and Dave. Now they are, they do like to hide from the Zoomobile, so we'll keep our eyes peeled as we make our way along here. They like to hang around the edges of the exhibit and around towards the back, so that's where we'll keep our eyes peeled. Now these guys have a pouch on the inside of their mouth where they store extra food when they feel threatened. It kind of acts like a Tupperware container so they can save it for later. <laughs> And coming up here on your left hand side, uh, we have Cedric the Waddled Crane. Now he loves it when people wave and say hi, Cedric. So everybody wave, say hi, Cedric. Hi, Cedric. Now these guys can grow up to five feet tall and have a seven foot wingspan, which is super impressive. They're native to parts of Africa as well. Alrighty guys, we are now making our way towards one of my favorite spots on the tour. We're coming up to our Eurasia drive through So this is where there is no barrier between you and the animal. So there are just a couple special rules that we have to go over. So once again guys, please remain seated at all times. Keep your arms and legs inside the Zoomobile. If you drop something, do not try to retrieve it. Please let myself or Ayla know, and we'll have someone get it for you as soon as we make our way back around. Also, if you guys have any food with you, we just ask that you wrap it up and tuck it away as we don't want the animals to get any extra snacks for today. Just be waiting for the Jurassic Park <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Also, thank you to those who are singing the Jurassic Park theme song. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. So in this drive seat, drive through, you'll see two different types of animals. We have our yaks and our Przewalski horses. Uh, now it looks like everybody's on the far end, so we'll just make our way along here. I believe you'll be able to see our yaks first. Now yaks are known as the beast of burden because they're pack animals and can carry very heavy loads on their back and up steep Oh, there they are. Now you may be able to see the road. male yak. His name is Saint Hubert. You can tell him apart from the other ladies because his horns are quite a bit larger. We also have some of our Przewalski horses coming up here. Heck. Now, I've heard Przewalski said about a million different ways. Some people say Przewalski, some people say Shivalski, but if you're talking to someone here at the zoo and you call it a pea horse, they'll totally know what you're talking about. <laughs> Talk about horses around. And if you're looking at the pea horses and you notice that one has C26 oh, written on his neck, you've spotted our one male. His name is Phoenix, oh, remember, oh, his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, sure. Now, up ahead of us, I believe we have some of our yaks. We just have to wait for them. Looks like they're in our way. We're waiting for them to move. Ah! Uh, yeah, kitty. Looks like some of our female yaks are coming up here over on your right. I'll pass or I'll point out uh, Thank You Bear as we make our way up a little bit farther here. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Her. Now, did you know that a female yak's milk is actually pink? But if you tried it, I bet you'd yak. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Another fun fact about yaks is that their hair is constantly growing, so if you see them rubbing up against a tree, this kind of acts as a haircut. Oh no. 
You also get a great look at some of our pea horses over on your left. The Zolski horses are the only true type of wild horse that have never been domesticated, so I don't recommend trying to ride one. Oh, here's St. Hubert. He's coming up here over on your left-hand side. You can see his horns are quite a bit larger than the other ladies that we have passed. He's the daddy, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, he's going to Oh. Now, Brazilian horses are native to parts of Mongolia. So they don't mind the cold. In the winter, they grow a really thick woolly coat to keep them warm. Right now, they're kind of rocking their spring and summer look. Oh, look at their... guys, they're all frisky right now. It's time for them to eat. Alrighty, we're just going to be waiting for the gate once again, and then we'll continue on with the rest of our tour. Yeah, that one's a male. He's even got a cutie mark. Alrighty, so it does get a little bit bumpy coming up here, so just make sure you're hanging on to all your belongings. No, I'm just going to let the... Who would want anything to fly off the Zoomobile? Well, what if I yeah. want to? No. <laughs> oh, you got a nice picture of him. I think I got fans. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is where it does get a little bit bumpy. Uh oh. The acts have kind of been known to be escape artists on us. <laughs> so we're just going to be waiting for the gate once again. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Do, do. Alrighty, guys. Now, as we make our way along here, you're good to keep going, Ayla. Now, as we make our way along here, keep your eyes peeled for the very rare and super elusive Canada goose. <laughs> <laughs> and keep coming up here, keep your eyes peeled on either side of you. We have had trumpeter swans hanging around all day, which are the largest type of waterfowl in North America. We have a breeding pair of uh, trepidator swans that return to the zoo every year, uh, and then they raise a family me. down in Weston oh, Pond, which is the pond down at the bottom oh, of the Canadian oh, Domain Hill. I actually, it, it was a little <laughs> stiff. It outfoxed all of us. Now coming up here on your left-hand side, you may be able to see some of our alpacas, uh, as well as Sterling the donkey. Our alpacas' names are Reggie, Gerald, and Botan. Now, I was talking to Botan the other day. I said, hey, Botan, you want to go for a picnic sometime? He said, sure, I'll pack a lunch. Uh, <laughs> and they are part of the animal shows that we have.